Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus, and I am here again. I got some wonderful news to share for some of you and for others. You can call it wonderful as well. The whole message is a message of freedom that I am concerned uh, that you could receive. And uh, I'm kind of doubtful if you will. However, I don't want any of you to be able to say you weren't given a choice. I want you to know that the whole thing about life is given a choice. As I've talked to you over these 40 years and over these three or 4,000 videos that I've posted, I've talked to you about God, an invisible power that you cannot see, but you can allow to live in you. And if that power was living in you, there would be an outcome, a particular result. I haven't spent much time talking to you about scripture and stuff like that, though periodically I would throw in some. And the reason that I haven't is because the spirit that is able to talk in the beginning is able to talk in the end. And if there are some that couldn't get the message in the beginning, there will be some that can't get the message in the end. However, there were some, a few, that was able to get it in the beginning, and there are those that are able to get it in the ending. And it's not necessarily in a book. And so what you have to be able to do, as far as I'm concerned, is to co connect with that spirit that is talking to individuals and not people interpreting what someone else has said about God. See, ladies and gentlemen, when we talk about God, it's kind of confusing looking about uh, time past in scriptures, talking about time past, different places, different uh, cultures, and different variations of understanding. And I, I was injured with that to produce a result. Doesn't make too much sense to me. See, we don't have to really go back anywhere. What happened then is happening today. Why? Because history repeats itself if things don't change. And things haven't changed. The same rotating cycle has been going on since the beginning of time. And people have done many things trying to change the way things have been going to make them better because they have not understood what is going on. But you know, ladies and gentlemen, many of you have heard a story about a man called Jesus Christ. And many of you, you try to say you are a member of a religion that wasn't started by Jesus Christ, but was associated with Jesus Christ. They call it Christianity. I would like to, if I may, give you and share with you a different meaning of Jesus' life than I'm sure that many of you have had. That whole life of Jesus Christ spirit, born in flesh, able to, commun to communicate with spirit, in spirit. What I'm saying to you, ladies and gentlemen, is this. God created the earth. All that is upon the earth. One of those that are on this earth are humans. And all they will ever need, they have either within themselves or without. There's nothing else that they could possibly need that they cannot manifest. The power to do so is either within themselves, outside themselves, or a combination of both. Each my friends, humans having all that they need within and without. Knowing this, we're given choice. Choice. Heaven for one outcome. Hell for another. The one for heaven is called righteousness, just the name that's followed by an action. The other is called hell for evil, just the name, followed by a conduct. Well, evil, I'm not going back through all that time because I don't have to, evil persuaded righteousness to compromise. It happened right there in the garden according to your scripture. Evil <laughs> caused righteousness 
to compromise in an attempt to adjust and to just get along in, attempt, in an attempt to avoid death evil compromised thus we have the world this world that we live in is a result of righteousness compromising to evil we all got choice. Everybody got choice. What happens at the end of life? We all say what? We're going to die. The end of life, we're all going to die. So, what does uh, evil promise us as we compromise? Well, what has evil done? Evil has taken all of the land, claimed all of God's land. Evil has claimed all of the resources that have been made known. Claimed it. That which God gave to all that lives. And every day, righteous, good compromises. That's the way of life. But then something happened. A man came, they called him Jesus Christ, who was uh, set us free because in this situation, since the beginning of time, since righteous compromise, we have been prisoners. That which was given to us is ours no longer. We have to work in it to get something. We have to slave in it to get something. That's why we don't have adequate health care, unlimited and unrestricted. That's why we don't have health care from the womb to the tomb. That's why we don't have the careers of our own choosing. That's why we're in pain and in suffering. That's why we hate and, 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 uh, and are racist and bigots. Because they chose evil. And in evil, that means basically that man chose to be God and sits on the throne and comes up with all kinds of things, all evil. And this is, again, the message that Jesus came to expose. They tell us to be good. They teach us from scripture that all we got to do is just walk right. Don't rattle the boat or shake the waters. Everything will be all right. Just wait your time out. Love a little bit. Treat people kind. That is not what you are being put here for. That's compromising every day. That's one of the biggest slaves. That's why everybody knows that one of the biggest slave markets in the world, especially in America, is the church. Why? It does you no good. Definitely does. Well, I guess it might do some good for God because it helps to distinguish the righteous from the evil. Now, let's get back to that righteous. When Jesus came, Jesus, according to the story, walked through life just like all of us, learned just like all of us, because we all have to learn. Some of us learn evil. Some of us learn righteousness. Some of us practice evil and become evil. Some of us practice righteous and become righteous. And so those that become righteous are different from those that become evil. They are different as one and two. Now, the thing of it is, when do they compromise? When they do not know the truth. If you know the truth, you will never compromise. You see, the truth says, as Jesus wanted to prove to us, it doesn't matter what you got to give, what gift you have. You can bring electric lights to the world. You can bring computers to the world. You can bring cars to the world, telephones to the world, and big mansions to the world, and yachts. You can bring all these things to the world. And it still isn't righteous. And the world can offer you, because you can do all of these things, everything that any other man, any other person, a group of people would ever want. Things that Congress would just sell out in a minute. Don't even need a big life. Just sell out. And they offer you the world. And what did Jesus say? It's not worth it. That's slavedom. That's 
bondage. And he wants you to know that there is freedom. And how did he say you could be free? Say, you must be born again. You were born of the flesh. You must be born again of the spirit. I think that's how the discussion goes. Maybe a little bit more information in there. But what they're saying, just as, you, as I'm standing here in the flesh, you can see me. I must be born again in the spirit. Now, other people try to say that's something that, well, to be, I'm not going with the other people are talking about. The spirit means this body, you can't see it. You got to be born in the spirit. That's what Jesus is saying. What is he saying? He's saying you're in hell. That's what Jesus' life was about. You are in hell. We on this earth are in hell. We got choice to continue to live here in hell or choose to leave hell. Now, you say that's a hard decision. It's not a hard decision. Every last one of us are going to die. Everybody knows that we keep on living, we're going to die. And there's a lot of pain and suffering in this hell. And it gets worse and worse all the time. Right now, the message is what has been exposed to us over the past several years. If we don't wake up, if you, the people, don't wake up and take the right stand and make the right moves, the pain and suffering that you've received over the past hundred years is nothing compared to what you're going to receive in the next 20 years if you don't wake up. It's just that bad. Why? Because you're going deeper. Evil is growing, growing. Evil was always here in America, but something is happening now. 